So here's that hole gauge finally I was telling you about. All these holes look like they're the same diameter, but they're actually a thousandth of an inch smaller than each other. This one right here where the notch is at is quarter inch exactly. And then it gets smaller going this way and it gets bigger going to the left. And I'll show you how you can tell that they're different by putting the magnets in them. It's a quarter inch stainless steel plate. It's the same material that the diesel fish are going to be made out of. And so if I start putting in the magnets here, you can see that one goes in almost flush. And as I move over to the right, you can see the magnets stick out higher and higher. Until I get to here, I can barely even put it in there. But the idea is that I'll press them in, but we want them to be pressed in with a tight fit, but not so much that it's going to shatter the magnet. Now going downwards, that is the same diameter hole. So I'll press it in, and then I'll do it another five times, well, a total of five times, to make sure that I can do it consistently without it shattering. Now the reason the magnet doesn't go all the way through, it's because each hole has a very slight taper. You wouldn't be able to see it with your eye. In addition, there's also a small amount of dross that is inside that hole, if you can see it. So after I find out which hole is exactly right to press these magnets in, I'll post that as well and I'll use all these magnets here to fill the holes on diesel fish. Now for Diesel Junior. So the three on the right are how they came directly from the manufacturer. Three on the left are some that I'm tumbling right now. I wanted to tumble them further because you can see on the right as I rotate them a little, you can still see the laser marks, which you wanted to get rid of. I also wanted to further soften the edge just a little bit, so I'm in the middle of this whole tumbling process and I'll take you over to the tumbler so that you can get an idea of how it works. But first, let me show you right here. So the Diesel Junior will go into a drum filled with tumbling media and it'll rotate and it'll tumble them around, tumble them around, and over the course of several hours, it'll soften the finish. Okay, you can see them in there. And we'll be using different media Here's an example of uh, what we'll use. Here is some, some ceramic media. But the problem with this is it's not going to get in between the little, the little curves very well while it's tumbling around. And so to help that out, we have this garnet right here, if you can see that. So the garnet is going to be tumbled in with the ceramic media. And then finally, after that's all cleaned off and cleaned up, I'll tumble it in this crushed walnut right here. Just a whole bunch of walnut shells. Now let me take you over to the tumbler. Okay, so here's the tumbler. It's a concrete mixer repurposed. And you can see the ceramic media in there and the water is brown because of the crushed garnet that gets pulverized along with the tumbling action. Well. The water helps remove the impurities away from the metal and it also helps as a cushion. If we zoom in there, we can see there's little Deezer Jr. right there waiting to be tumbled some more. And that's what's going to happen. We're just going to keep tumbling everything and check out on it again in some, I don't know, maybe eight hours. And then I'll report back to you.